Hey, X Dancers, Anthony and Rose. Today, we're going to cover the overall view of West Coast Swing. What if I told you that West Coast Swing was not as complicated as you thought? Like, maybe you've gone out, you've gone someplace, and they, there's all these patterns and all these things to know, but what if we could simplify it into just five things to know? So 90% of everything you're going to do in West Coast Swing is going to be almost always one of these five things. So we're going to cover these five things, and I promise you, you'll never look at West Coast Swing ever again. Now stick around to the end, because we got a lot of cool stuff to cover here. All right, so if you go here online and you just type West Coast Swing Basic Steps and all this stuff, you're gonna see all kinds of stuff out there. But when you really, really break it down, there's only a handful of things you can do. So first, we're gonna demonstrate the five basic things that we're gonna teach today, then we're gonna break them down. But stick around to them because we're gonna take all of these five things and make that, show you how to make those into hundreds of different patterns. Chances are most of the stuff you've seen online is just one of these five things. It just looks different. Okay, so the first thing that we can do in West Coast Swing are side passes. And again, if you have not watched the, the breakdown of the six count pattern video, we're going to include a link here. Definitely want to do that one. It's going to break down this concept, but we have side passes. So here's a side pass. She goes from one side to the next. We have sugar pushes. She comes towards me and I bring her back to the other side. We also have what we call a rolling pass. We have a whip pattern, which is now an eight count pattern. And again, if you have not watched the eight count video, we're gonna include a link here for that. And then we have what we call a wrap in and out. So I wrap her in and send her out. Basic enough, right? So now during this video, we're gonna take these things and show you how to transform them or, or turn them into a bunch of really cool stuff. By the way, if you have not subscribed yet, we post West Coast Swing, Two Step, all the different country dances videos here all the time. So hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button, and then you'll be notified of all the cool stuff that's happening. So first of all, we have side passes. So the idea of a side pass is she starts over here along this track. She starts on that side of the track and she goes to the other. Now we're not gonna teach these fully, but she does a walk, walk, triple step, triple step. So I start her motion. She does a walk, walk for those first two counts and I get out of her way on count two. Then she passes me for the second two counts, triple step. I come back to face her and then we anchor and stretch. So we'll do that again. She comes towards me. She does the triple step and then we do the ankle. So th that is called a left side pass because she's passing on my left side. So if we do that, I'm over here, I step out of her way and she passes by my left shoulder. Now her footwork of that is going to be exactly the same. No different at all if we do an underarm pass, also cut a right side pass. So instead of me stepping out of the way and letting her pass my left shoulder, I'm just gonna step out of the way. She's gonna travel under the arm to get to the other side. So her step for a left side, right side, underarm pass is exactly the same. Walk, walk, dribbling pass, anchor in place. Same footwork here. So what I'm telling you guys is with this pattern, if you learn this one pattern, then there's a bunch of different ways you can do that. So I'm rolling her into me. Her footwork is still the same regardless of what variation or way it is that we do this, the idea is still the same. This is all just the same pattern. Multiple times, it just looks like something new, right? So chances are a lot of the stuff that you guys are seeing is just a different way to do these basics. So number one, first step that you've got to learn is a side pass. In this example, we used a left side pass. Now, the second thing you've got to learn is a sugar push. Now, I have some strong opinions about a sugar push. So, one common mistake that dance teachers make and that new dancers make is they learn the sugar push first. So, if you're watching any video or come to a dance teacher and they say, well, the first thing you got to learn is a sugar push, they're really kind of um, breaking the mold or, or, or kind of setting you in a path to fail by learning the, the sugar push first. Because the idea of West Coast Swing, she starts over here in this side of the slot and she goes to the other side of the slot, right? That is the motion of West Coast Swing. 
However, a sugar push starts her coming towards me and then I send her back to where she started. So she never got to complete that motion. But however, the sugar push is a pattern that you should know because it is one that you're gonna use a lot and there's several different variations of a sugar push. So it's something you've gotta teach, you gotta learn. So with a sugar push, she comes towards me for the first two counts. I pick up that hand. Now she's trying to get to the other side of the slot, but I block her path, she presses into me, and then I send her back. All right, so normally with like a side pass that we did earlier, she goes from here, I get out of her way to allow her to go where it is she's trying to go. But from here, I take her in, absorb her in, and send her back. Easy. Easy enough, right? Mm -hmm. But so the problem with learning the sugar push first is it teaches her to come forward and never make it there. And it's just kind of a bad way to start. The way that we teach a sugar push, like if I've got a student who's already learned the side passes and everything, and then we do the sugar push, is I tell her, we're gonna do three left side passes in a row, all right? And I have her close her eyes, so close your eyes. So this is the left side pass. Trust. So she goes to the other side, that's one. Now she's going back over there again, that's two. Okay, and here's your third one. And I just kind of allow her. So the thing is, is, she's assuming she's going to the other side of the slot. Because if she sees me stand there a lot of times, oh, that must be a sugar push and she stops. Bad news. So now with a sugar push, we have the basic idea of she comes towards me and then she moves back. Now we can also do a push tuck, which is essentially that same motion where we're here. Right, so there's a lot of different variations. We'll, we'll do a left side pass. I could take her on my back. This is still a sugar push. I'm just leading her off the back. We could lead push tucks from the opposite hand, but the idea is that it is still exactly the same pattern. So if you learn the sugar push, then we change hands. Maybe we turn her at the end, maybe we don't, maybe she does it on my back or my butt, you know, <laughs> So the idea is that like the second thing you've got to learn is a sugar push. Now, third thing we got to learn is what we call a rolling pass. Now it's just like the left side pass or the side, I don't know what just happened there. Um, I'm going to watch the video later and find out. But if she is doing a left side pass, I get out of her way for one, two, then she passes me for three and four, five and six. Okay. So that's a left side or some sort of side pass. The only difference between a side pass and a rolling pass is I'm going to have her rolling or turning for section two. So I bring her towards me for section one. Then I lead her for this one and a half turns for section two and then we anchor in place, okay? So her footwork is exactly the same for sections one and three. My footwork for the left side pass is exactly the same as a rolling pass. I mean, it's literally exactly the same. I just lead her forward for one. I prep her or prepare for the turn for count two. Count, section two, I lead her for one and a half rotations, and then we still do that anchor in place. So if you look at the left side pass, she comes towards me. We have the stuff that happens and then we have the anchor. You know, for a rolling pass, she comes towards me. Now the stuff that happens is actually a turn, and then we have the anchor. Now there are a lot of different variations of this, so this is the third thing you've gotta know. So here's your basic rolling pass. She comes towards me, she turns one and a half turns, she anchors in place, I've switched hands. So she comes towards me, she does one and a half turns, we anchor in place. She comes towards me, there's one and a half turns, and an anchor in place. She comes towards me, there's one and a half turns and an anchor in place. So there's a lot of different ways to do that. It really just kind of breaks down to like, how am I holding her hands? I mean, she's gonna do the same footwork, I'm gonna do the same footwork. It's just essentially which hands am I holding or not, right? So that's the third thing you're gonna do. On to the fourth thing. Now we have whip patterns. Now, the whip is an eight count pattern. Now there is a video again, we've already linked to it once, but there's a breakdown of the eight count concept. And I'm gonna show you the basic whip pattern. So she comes towards me, I bring her back, there's your variation and there's your anchor. Okay, so that's eight counts of one, two, three and four, five, six, seven and eight. So she starts over there, she goes to that side and then I send her back. Now from that pattern, you can create a lot of stuff. She comes towards me, Here's the basic, she comes back, variation, anchor. She comes towards me, she comes back, underarm turn, and anchor. She comes towards me, she comes back, outside turn, anchor. She comes towards me, she comes back, behind the backhand change, anchor. Here's the inside whip. She comes towards me, she comes back, 
there's a variation, and there's the anchor. So from that whip pattern, there's hundreds or thousands of different ways to do that in different variations. So that's the fourth thing you need to know. Fifth thing, and the final thing, the final thing you gotta know about West Coast Swing is what we call a wrap in and out. Okay, again, this is a six count variation. It follows that structure of come towards me variation anchor, okay? So she's gonna come towards me just like a left side pass. I'm gonna wrap her up three and four, and then she unwraps and she comes, you know, into the anchor step for section three. So it is come towards me. I've got two hands. I wrap her up into this cradle or wrap position, and then I unwind her, all right? Now that would be, there's, again, there's a lot of different variations of this. She comes towards me, I wrap her up, and there's an anchor. I take her on the shoulder, four, and a variation. I can take her on this hand and wrap her up. Take her from this hand and <laughs> wrap her up. It is literally just the same thing over and over and over. Okay, so let's back up. Just wind it back a little bit. Here's your five things. You have side passes. That's a left side pass, underarm or right side pass, depending on where in the country you're from. You can roll into it. Her footwork is still exactly the same here. This is all just the same pattern over and over, regardless of how I'm holding her hand. The second thing we can do are sugar pushes. I draw her in, I send her back, and then we anchor. It's another way to do that. Another way to do that. There's another way to do that. It's still just the same concept, okay? Rolling passes. She comes towards me, one and a half turns, anchor. She comes towards me, one and a half turns, anchor. She comes towards me, one and a half turns, anchor. She comes towards me, one and a half turns, anchor. She comes towards me, so this is just the same stuff over and over, just looks like something different. Whip patterns, she comes towards me, she comes back, variation, anchor, comes towards me, comes back, variation. You guys get the point, right? I think they got it. <laughs> <laughs> Only so many times I can say Five that, things. so. And then you have, obviously, your uh, wrap in and out. And so, from there, here's what I suggest you guys do. Learn these five things, right? Spend some time on these five things. And I think most of these things here on this channel, there are videos that break down each one of those five things. So learn those five things, know them well, and then just switch hands. Stop letting people sell you on the idea of there's all oh, this stuff to know. It really is much more simple, all right? It is very simple. There's a lot of stuff that you can play with in West Coast Swing, but at the core of it, it's really, really simple. And I think a lot of people get really intimidated because they see the final product and it's really just those simple things in the center go online and just type like west coast swing jack and jill or strictly swing or something like that i mean they're going to get a lot of you know this kind of stuff is happening but when you're actually watching their dancing 90 percent of everything you're doing is just what we've shown you here now i know this is a completely different way to think about it but that's the truth right and so like we already own two dance studios we travel we do other things so our goal for this is just to help guys like you guys grow your dancing and stop being so discouraged in the beginning when this kind of stuff seems so complicated. So hope that's been helpful for you guys. If that has been helpful for you guys, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know that you guys are here. If you hated it, I mean, just go away and I'm teasing. Uh, let us know why, at least. If, and if comment you... any of your questions that you have about what's this wing. We'd be happy to answer them down below. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and then we'll see you guys next time. Yeah.